Hello everybody, uh, just a quick little update, um, you know it's been a week or so and I uh, thought I'd give a, a quick little update <laughs> on uh, how my tank's doing. So as you can see there's quite a bit going on here. Um, I recently got some um, Dragon's Breath Macro Algae. And uh, I kind of split it into three there and just growing out a couple frags of it. I'm going to keep one, give one away, and uh, maybe sell the other one once it gets a bit bigger. Um, I finally glued my Zoas back to my rock. Um, way in the back there, you see some uh, true cornbread god of war and um, candy apple red. King Midas, some people eaters. This right in the center is actually cotton candy, which I have another frag that I just purchased recently that I'll show you. These kind of went through my ammonia spikes, so they're still recuperating with the color. Um, here you see some purple hornets, and right on the end here are um, pink leopards. Moving on, in the back, way in the back there, you'll see some true blue mushrooms. Just a few little ones growing out. And here's another one that I'm not sure if it's a true blue, it's kind of purplish color, so we'll see. Um, this is my Recordia mushroom. It's, uh, it's growing, not super fast, but it's growing. It started off quite small, so... Um, here are some papaya cloves, I guess. They have a green center and a bright orange um, edges when they glow in the actinic. Here again is my highlighted green torch with uh, pink tips. It's actually split into two heads now, which is cool. It might have been like that last time, but I didn't notice. Um, here's some Magician Pallies, they're actually Red Magicians, and they are amazing under Actinics. Um, my Duncan is doing fantastic, it has two heads, and I've actually seen it start to make a third head right underneath here, so we'll see how that goes. Um, my Gold Hammer actually is, for whatever reason, is getting pink um, pink tips around the edges of the actual heads. Um, and if you can believe that, that's actually two heads. Let's see if I can get an underneath shot there. You see it's only actually connected. Right there you can see some yellow. Anyways, so two heads. And um, back here is a mutant hammer that I got from fragbox.ca, which is where I've gotten most of my Zoas, um, which is amazing if you're in Canada. Um, here's another frag of the purple hornets that I'm just growing out. I think there's three heads on that one. And this is actually that cotton candy um, Zoa that I showed before, right over here. Whoop. So this is um, actually not even what it's supposed to look like. The center should even be even more blue. There shouldn't be any dark spots at all, but I think that's due to my lighting. Um, I actually moved this frag way up here to see if the coloration would come back. I had this one lower in the tank, and that's why it's kind of dark, so I'm testing out to see if more lighting is better. As you can see in the back there is my Tailspot Blenny, who is amazing. And my cool little firefish, who's been doing good. And here, I believe this is a pink with green tip um, Stylophora, cat's paw. But I'm not sure, so if somebody thinks this is something different, like the rainbow variety maybe, um, let me know. 
Uh, I've been trying to get this to open up good during the day and it's finally starting to um, do that with higher lights. Uh, before it would open up here and there but not really great so um, I was thinking it was because the lights were too high but now that I've bumped the lights even higher um, it's opening up much more during the day uh, which is great. Anyways, this little guy has a house right back here. Sometimes he goes and, and hides in this little hole here, which isn't deep enough for him, but uh, he actually curls his tail around and it's like next to his head and he jams himself in there, which is kind of funny, but. Um, yeah, so that is my tank. Also notice I got a uh, Tunzi or Tunes um, Nano Scraper, which is amazing. So if anybody is wondering what kind of scraper to get for their tank, highly recommend that one. Although I didn't really have one before, so I don't have much to compare it to. But, um, and that's kind of it. I'm all done my Prezi Pro, um, Prezi Pro, medication for my firefish and uh, and he seems to be okay I don't see there's still that one spot on his tail which might be a fluke but I'm not 100% sure so I'm not sure if you can even see it it's on this side of him um, in the red at close to the end of his tail still on his body though but he's looking way better way more active and uh, yeah, so everything's back to normal. I'm just growing stuff out right now. And uh, you know, hopefully I'll have a bunch of frags down the road. Maybe Christmas time I can frag a bunch of stuff and recoup some of the money that uh, I've actually put into this tank. But, but uh, maybe next video I'll try to get an actinic kind of night video um, to show how everything glows. But uh, yeah, that's how everything's doing. Um, I have a hermit back in back there next to the cat's paw. And my other Halloween hermit who actually, um, not shed, but uh, you know, spit out a skeleton, <laughs> whatever you call it. Um, the other day is actually right behind the Duncan. He still hides during the day, so hopefully he'll get more adventurous during the day, and that would be awesome. But uh, for now, you know, it is what it is. So that's my tank, how it sits today, and uh, yeah, hope everybody has a great weekend, great long weekend, and a great week. And this video is long enough. Um, like, subscribe, comment, etc. And I'll see you guys next time.